Nutrition and Diet Therapy, Laboratory, Module 1. In this course, you will learn to identify the different utensils and equipment needed in kitchen preparation area. Apply proper tray setup and tray service, learn techniques in food preparation and purchasing, and know the different equivalents and measurements. Kitchen utensil is a handheld, typically small tool that is designed for food related functions. Food preparation utensil is a specific type of kitchen utensil designed for use in the preparation of food. Here are some of the different utensils equipment needed in kitchen preparation area. Fillet knife. A long, narrow knife with a finely serrated blade, used to slice fine fillet cuts of fish or other meat. Chef's knife. A long, broad blade with a straight edge used for chopping, dicing and mincing vegetables. Bread knife. A long blade and sharp serrated edge used for sawing through all sorts of different breads. Carving knife. A long, slim knife, tapering to a sharp point used for cutting serving meats. Herb chopper. Chops or minces raw herbs. Ladle. Is a type of serving spoon used for soup, stew, or other foods. Measuring spoon. A set of spoon that measures dry or wet ingredients in amounts from one quarter teaspoon up to one tablespoon. Measuring cup. Is used to measure the volume of liquid or bulk solid cooking ingredients such as flour, milk, and sugar. Grater. Is used to grate cheeses, spices, citrus, and other foods. Funnel. Is used to channel liquid or fine grain substances into containers with a small opening. Fish slice or frying turner. Is used for lifting or turning food during cooking. Colander. Is used for draining substances cooked in water. Dough scraper. Is used to shape or cut dough and remove dough from a work surface. Meat tenderizer. Is used to tenderize meats in preparation for cooking. Mortar and pestle. Is used to crush food, releasing flavors and aromas. Pastry brush. Is used to spread oil, juices, sauce or glaze on food. Roller docker. Is used to pierce bread dough, cracker dough, pizza dough or pastry dough to prevent over-rising or blistering. Spider. Is used for removing hot food from a liquid or skimming foam off when making broths. Whisk is used to blend ingredients smooth or to incorporate air into a mixture. Kitchen scale is used to measure various ingredients that are used for preparing all sorts of dishes. methods for measuring dry and solid ingredients. Ingredients are measured to the rim of the graduated measuring cup or spoon. Add enough dry ingredients so that it is heaping over the top of the measuring cup by lightly spooning the ingredient into the cup. Do not shake, tap, or pack the ingredient into the cup. If measuring with spoons, pour or scoop the ingredients into the spoon. Using the back edge of a knife or another straight-edged object, Level the ingredient by running the straight edge along the rim of the cup or spoon to push the excess ingredient off. <music> Methods for measuring liquid ingredients Use transparent plastic or glass measuring cups, with pour spouts, to measure large quantities of liquid and ingredients that are sticky and measuring spoons to measure small quantities of these ingredients. 
Pour the liquid ingredient into the measuring cup until it is at the desired measure, have the measuring cup sitting on a flat, level surface and bend down to view the measurement at eye level. When using measuring spoons, hold the spoon flat and pour the ingredient into the spoon until it reaches the top rim of the spoon. When measuring sticky ingredients, lightly coat the inside of the measuring cup with vegetable oil or spray with cooking oil. Technique for peeling raw tomatoes Rinse tomatoes and pat them dry. Place a wedge on a cutting board, seed side facing up, skin side facing down. Using a sharp knife, starting at one tip of the wedge, slice the skin away from the tomato flesh. Work one tip of the tomato wedge to the other, until all the skin is removed from the wedge. Using a 1.5 to 2 inch piece of peeled carrot, cut off the four sides to form a rectangle. Trim the ends to make the piece even. Cut the carrot into equal thin slices, lengthwise. Stack the slices evenly, then cut through the stacks to form matchsticks. The slices should be the same thickness as the previous step so that the thickness is even all around the matchstick. Method for dicing vegetables, peel vegetable and cut off a thin slice from one side, creating a flat surface. Rest on flat side and slice into 1 4 inch wide planks. Arrange stacks of planks so they lie flat on board. Align the ends of the strips and cut crosswise using a smooth slicing motion to create a 1 quarter dice. The metric system is a system of measurement that uses the meter, liter, and gram as base units of length, capacity, and weight respectively and is formally known as the International System of Units, SI.